Hey, I just wanted to share my experience with StaffPad. I know, like many folks, have used different notation software in the past. It can be, it was often a pretty difficult endeavor, especially if you can't play MIDI keyboard on time and get all your notes in correctly. Um, very painstaking process. StaffPad, I was excited when it came out. It kind of changes all of that. Um, you don't need a MIDI controller to get it in. You don't need a keyboard, um, a typical computer keyboard, I mean. Uh, you can just write it out and get really, really close to what you need, if not right on the money. So let's take a look at um, how it works. I know a lot of these features are in different videos out there um, from StaffPad especially, but I'll go through real quickly some of the stuff that's been helpful to me. Um, if we go in here, we can just create something quickly. Add a couple instruments, there they go. Okay, so now we've got them. One of the exciting things about StaffPad is it knows the difference between your pen and your finger. Uh, with my finger, I can activate some of these different features up here. We got some expressions down here, which I can use my finger to open up. Here's some expressions. Uh, I can add instruments. I can get rid of this menu as well. But once I start adding with the pen, see we're already active in the measure there. So I can get rid of this note. The second, the button on the pen right here is the one that I use for the eraser. So we can just add some notes quickly. There we go. If I missed one, oh, that's supposed to be a B as well. It's meant to move it up, so there we go. The cello piece down here, there we go. We can play that back. Another thing that I didn't realize up until very recently is again, the difference between your pen and your finger. When I use my finger, I can go in here, double tap on this measure, and now I have these, this menu down here. Copy, paste. Wow, that's super helpful. Obviously, if you wanna get more involved, there's a lot of different expressions you can use, um, and they work amazingly easily. Um, you can also just add notes. Um, above here, and there you go. Um, in previous versions, this is the June 2015 version of StaffPad. In previous versions, when you printed these scores, a lot of these extra, a lot of the notes and some of the other expressions didn't line up as you see them here. Now, if I go over here, print, I can print to the computer as a PDF and here we go now we've got it now we see these line up pretty well um, if we go back this filled up the whole measure but no big deal it's still in previous versions this would spread to the other measure they've kind of fixed that you know we've got our crescendo mark there things look pretty good um, so there those are some neat features um, you can also obviously print if you have a printer plugged in it would show up here my only real frustration um, with StaffPad, the palm rejection isn't perfect, and sometimes you wind up hitting, I would find myself hitting this button, transposing score, and even when you get rid of this menu, this transposing score is still here. But the one thing I found to kind of fix that is I took a glove, chopped the fingers off. Um, I've seen, uh, I saw a, uh, a graphic artist do something like this and you know no more rejection oh, i can rub my hand all over and it'll never touch anything i still have these fingers to activate these buttons and the pen obviously is still working just fine give you another idea of how staff pad works all your scores are saved automatically there's no save button they just kind of get uh, saved um, here we can see where you know the entire library of what we've got here um, if we go in here, you look in your documents folder, there is a staff pad score folder, and that's where they actually exist. Um, I don't think there's anything you can do with these files as is, but if you go in here, you do have an export menu for MIDI files, MP3 files, some other thing, XML, staff pad file, um, other options you have. And I'll Additionally, when you export them as a PDF onto your, your computer, they will wind up in your documents folder. 
that's that staff pad pretty amazing um, if you need more information they have the tutorials here in the in the app and on the website